other thing we have to look at is the Lydia trailer, uh, which is right here. I also want to check the Tekken talk, but let's go ahead and just watch the, the trailer. The release date trailer for Lydia. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. I think she comes out soon. I need this song ASAP. See, that's what's weird is that it's the same thing from a month ago. Is it the same trailer? Is it this exact same trailer? It does seem like the same trailer already. Bro, this song is so fucking fire. <laughs> yeah, it is. Seen on your video? Is it really? Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh. Oh, get that shit out of here. I wonder why they would just re upload the same trailer. But it says release date trailer, so maybe this one at the end is a little bit different. Probably show like the release date. Uh. Yeah, fighting Reyna. The Prime Minister is ready to kick your ass. There's another guy I feel like playing too, it's Tekken. I need to get back on it. full version of this song. July 22nd, early access, which is what I will be getting. Nice. All right, so this part is different. Oh, this too. Okay. And her Tekken 7 outfit, of course. Nice. All right, so we're still waiting for the next two characters, which I'm sure we're gonna get a teaser of them at Evo. I have a good feeling we're gonna get a teaser of them. I guess we should look at that Tekken talk. Uh, if it's even on here. Actually, no, it's probably on the Tekken official page. Yes, I believe this is it. Lydia Sobis Sobiska special. It's just two hours. I have to skim through this. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to skim through this. All right, so let's just get into it. All right, Tekken University topics, release date for Lydia, live gameplay update version 1.6, TWT 2024 global finals update. Why is this in a whole different language? Design details for all 32 characters. Okay. What's Actual skating or they look skateboard okay i did see this a skateboard see if i was into skateboarding you know this definitely would have been a cot would have got the jun kazama one or even jin um but here's the price and it's scheduled currently to be released uh around mid September. okay it's pretty cool okay also another cool thing uh jink the glove necklace designed by rock love rock love okay 130 dollars Kind of glove to it. What the fuck? <laughs> 130 for this. I think I'm good on that. Looks kind of cool. 
Uh, this is cool. You know, I've never, I've been doing a lot of. Oh, they got a. Different okay, that's, this is this pretty is cool. The first time I've come across a Tekken. 160. Sign, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Jin, and they're actually already. I still gotta get these. Uh, okay, so you've got uh, the cousin. I still gotta get these fucking figures. Uh, okay, they're now so on sale. I completely forgot about figure. them. I gotta get these. Like Both of them. Previously, Kazuya and Jin. Uh, Jin. Detail on these is really insane. They come with uh, a lot of different parts for the uh, the hands and the expressions on the face. You can change. Put them together. Um, as you can see, the, the I also got to get the Tekken Seven um, Jin uh, uh, Storm parts. collectibles figure. Uh, and since you can pose them, because uh, uh, I do have the Double Jin Storm the collectibles game, figure, or, but I need to get like Tekken a, Seven Jin. But I definitely need these two. So I definitely these are do. super cool, depending on where you live. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get that. All the fine attention. Our next we're working on is Nina. The, uh, Ooh, the face, see. The interchangeable parts, they, they didn't come out with Oscar. So they come with an Oscar figure. That figure. That's kind of, an uh, instant pre-order, off well. rip. So I look forward to showing like, you all. You'll know, no if fans or buts. We're happy. You know the Tekken's pretty popular. Oh, they have gaming chairs. Gaming chair model jet. They have an Oscar gaming chair. Fuckers, you fuckers, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Table pad mo model, Jen Asuka, territories Hong Kong, Taiwan, Indonesia. I just told myself I wouldn't buy another gaming chair. And here goes fucking Tekken coming out the Asuka Kazama fucking gaming chair. Fuck. And there's a Jin Kazama one, which looks fucking fire. The <sighs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Uh, so many people stay. This Character Vinley so, stickers. Uh, I don't know if uh, any of you guys. <laughs> Right. That's pretty cool. We've got some stickers. Wide, uh, so you can see the protected give me the <laughs> give me the Oscar so picture. In, in the or, size is quite big, actually, right? let me so see. It's a, it's let me see how this shit put is. On maybe your cell phone. Uh, so it's got like That's like five bucks. I wouldn't even know where I put these stickers on. Alright, that's cool. Jin tattoo logo, G core, retro, stickers. Damn. Peril featuring Tech Seven character panel art. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Uh, for the Kazuya here on the left, Tekken uh, Seven T-shirts. Uh, uh, oh shit! Look at that. Out. Hold on. As soon as I, as soon as I took uh took the QR code, Amazon took me to their official. I guess they have a whole dedicated section for it. That's pretty fire. Damn, they got mad Oscar t-shirts. Or not mad, they got four. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. No, Brian, come back. No. <laughs> Look what you did, Bean. Look what you did. Definitely need those t-shirts. All right. Uh, Alright, so here I'm assuming they're going to talk about Lydia. Parada is here. They showed the trailer that we just saw. July 22nd. July 22nd is. on a Monday. So it's probably. might be Tuesday for us. Or maybe it is Monday. Who knows? Okay, so yeah, 23rd. Yeah. Uh, will be released on the same day as Lydia. The update details, patch notes will be announced. When update is released, there won't be any battle balance adjustments, only some behavior fixes. Gotcha. 
Alright. Uh, okay, so you already talked about the stage. Seaside Resort, as the round progresses, the time shifts from day to sunset to night. Get this beautifully rendered beachside resort game battle stage for free. Okay, so it's a free update, which I do. I believe I remember them saying that in the season one trailer. Yeah, the stage looks really beautiful, and the music along with it is fire. Uh, oh, they're finally adding a photo mode. I do remember them saying that too. Capture your memorable moments with free angle control, a variety of features and filters, and anyone can easily take professional quality photos. And this would be good for thumbnails and whatnot. It really would for, you know, tech and stuff. Other various feature improvements, improved special style to allow execution of specialty moves, and air combo from a crouchy position. Improved tech and ball to allow practice of tech ball while waiting for online matching. Oh, okay. I forgot Tekken Ball even has an online matching. I think that's how me and Wifey uh, and played also, together. The, uh, and I got that trophy. Already, uh, or the platinum still, trophy. Uh, continuing to improve different features of the game. Okay, here we go. Now, now we're they're going to show the some session, Lydia action. Uh, where... There we go. Okay, so she has a little power... Uh, like, uh, install in a way, kind of like how Asuka has one too, and a few other characters. Ugh, Jesus. So first off, uh, if you're playing on PlayStation, the square button. It's funny. I didn't really uh, play to too much of Lydia in Tekken 7, uh, so but she's probably one of like the one of like the best new character designs, like brand new characters and how the way they design the character. She's probably one of the best ones Tekken has done in some time, like you know around Tekken 7, you know. Because uh, Lydia's so design is really dope. Do style. Uh, again, let us know if it's still and she's not like a very like QT sexualized character. Like she's like a pretty, it's essentially like a badass female. That's so attractive in her own ways, but more focusing on the, you know, badass side. But we're definitely going to be trying her out when she uh, comes out in uh, Tekken 8. See how so, she's uh, how she differs from her Tekken 7 kind uh, of counterpart. Uh, keep, uh, playing with the character and there's a huge delay the, on this uh, live stream. Yeah, it looks like it's fine on Twitch, but maybe on uh, YouTube. Huh? All right, so they're trying to work out issues with the uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, okay, so they're aware of it. They're aware of the. Looks like Fucking YouTube. <laughs> Harada dropped your frames 20 to 4 is a very weird year. <laughs> Not miss a Harada, no. <laughs> Father, no. Who's next, Sakurai? <laughs> Imagine. Live stream Nintendo Direct in like 2025 or 2026. After the new Switch comes out, Sakurai is at the end of the Nintendo Direct, and he's like, here's the new Smash Brothers. And he's running at, like, 5 f bus. <laughs> huh. I'm trying to remember if she had that. I think she has something like that, if not the exact same. In Tekken 7? Yeah, that, actually, I don't know. That pose actually looks kind of new to me. <laughs> <coughs> Granted, um, I didn't play, uh, again, I didn't play a lot of Lydia in Tekken 7. I would just kind of, like, mess around with her just see how she plays. Um, but I don't recall that stance that she just did. That might be a new stance. We did the motion capture with him. But then obviously our uh, motion designers kind of uh, tweaked it a bit to make it. Uh, I did hear that um, this was back in Tekken 7 that uh, her form of karate is like it's like like a newer style of karate. So like it's still a karate style that is so something that's being improved on like in real life. Um, not a whole lot of people. 
know this style completely, at least I think. I just remember them saying it, it's like a newer version of the, you know, karate fighting style. Um, very different from Jin's, obviously. While Jin is more like the classic traditional karate style. I do love her stances, though. Her stances are like, look so sick, and they look very impactful. Even like Tech Seven with her showing it off. Oh my dude, her stance changes is super dope looking. That said, even just doing the forward, forward, right, you know, her her mix-ups, Jesus, will allow you to do. It's a very good technique. This forward, forward, right punch. It puts her at top. It's good. It looks like he's good at putting in pressure too. Allow her to kind of pressure her opponent. Literally, as soon as I said that. It's not, you know, broken or anything in the sense that your opponent can do things like jab. I'm talking about once you get into the stance itself, you have your options, right? Depending on the option, maybe one option. Yeah. And and it has um armor. Defeated by a crouching jab. Maybe yet another option would be defeated by a power crush. So it's basically, you know. Just reading your opponent and trying to make the correct decision. So it's not like it's this one attack's gonna defeat everything. Yeah, so you have to like stop her before she gets to that second stance. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> all, it's really good on counter hit. <coughs> Puts him at a decent stun. What was that? Negative white? I couldn't tell. I can't tell. It's too blurry. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a negative four. So on counter hit, this move becomes even more interesting as you are uh, plus seventeen. Plus seventeen. Uh, which means that, uh, her left attack, I believe it is, is a series of uh, guaranteed attacks, uh, and the final hit goes into heat. So she's, she's plus 15 there. I'm going to move up a little bit here. That is Rage Art's pretty dope. Rage Art's pretty dope. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty dope rage art. Definitely better than her Tekken 7 one. When we were her attacks are very direct and linear, so that leaves her open to sidestepping a lot. Or even if you don't even want to bother with that, you can do a power crush. Okay. So it's like Dragonov in a sense? Because Dragonov is also a very like straight linear character. Um, not a whole lot of like range of like, um, uh, like a lot of coverage around like characters that are prone for uh, side stepping. But even though like characters like Dragonov that are very linear, they're top tier as fuck because of how much pressure they can do and how much they get in your face. Gives you like barely any breathing room to even size stuff. But of course, once you do get it, you know, kind of get the upper hand on those type of characters. <laughs> Both the stances. So it just happens that Jin has this, what do you call it, stance that he goes into at the same time as Lydia. So now he's gonna pause it right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go into I was gonna do the photo mode from this uh, options menu. And I think you could like do this in like replay. So like let's say you have an online match, you know, you go back to your replays and whatnot. And I think you could do the same thing, just rewatch the online fight that you um did on the replays at the ages go straight to photo mode on like a certain part at least i think so taking at 30th anniversary type of campaign 
photo customization cat category. <laughs> Take a Snapchat using in-game photo mode posted Tekken character customization with hashtag Tekken 30th. Select the photos may be featured in official events, streams, or sites. Campaign period July 23rd to August. Wow, October 31st. <laughs> okay. Alyssa and Lars. Oh. oh, beach outfits. <laughs> hey, there we go. About time we get like beach outfits for all the characters. Which is Ocean Day in Japan. Very nice. Well, like I said, about time they get some beach outfits going. Only one with a beach outfit, in a way, it's more well, bikini technically, is uh, um, Azucena. She was like the only one. But it seems like it's all the same outfits for each character. Like the males get that, that open. Um, I don't know what beach Top, is, but <laughs> the necklace, sandals, and trunks, and the females get a bikini outfit with the little, um, I forgot what you even call that little waist coverage thingy, <laughs> cloth. I mean, that's cool, though. All right, new fight pass, tech a fat fight pass round two, earn up to 100 tech coins with the free tier, the mission conditions have been adjusted, making it easier to level up by logging in once a week and repeatedly practicing online battles, add 300 tech coins, tech coins will be available at an amount lower than 500. Uh, so, you know, there's the premium tier and the free tier. The free Still not a big keep, uh, fan of items, this. Um, I mean, I know it has some like kind of uh, cool, like, um pictures and effects and even customizations and avatars and stuff but it's like i kind of wish all that was like just stuck in the tekken shop instead of a fighter pass because you got to work and grind to get some of these stuff so to me it's like eh, i don't know the image is kind of like if you're logging on once a week and playing a bit I should get a lot more experience than you were previously. Okay, well, at least that's good. At least that's good. You don't have to sit there and grind every day to, like, you know, level up in a uh, fighter pass. Overview of TWT, TWT Grand Finals, where the first second eight champion will be crowned. We'll be the largest ever. We'll share the general. Okay. Being, yeah, so, the so TWT team. stuff, uh, so got you. World Tour 2024. Uh, Evil 2024, see you there. With a record breaking of 4,646 Hi. participants, we can't wait to see the <laughs> so, exciting stories that will really, unfold uh, in this massive tournament. Uh, Look forward, you know, forward to seeing you at the Tekken booth where you can try out Lydia uh, and enjoy live streaming. 46 players registered for Evo, so thank you very much. Yep. So they'll uh, definitely be there. To see the stories that happen. Uh, oh I mean, shit, be I almost forgot about this. I mean, I, we all knew this was going to happen, but... Uh, yeah, Lydia. In the background. So I want them to update it to put our own character. So you can change the camera as well. It's pretty... We know a lot of uh, people have been asking to uh, change this character on their select to whoever they would like. Uh, Nakatsu is still working on that, so please wait a little bit longer. Okay, so they're working on it, they're working on it. No rush. The fact that they are at least attempting to work on that is, is cool, so. In due time, we will get that. <laughs> so, Harada is saying that, uh, some characters you set as the background won't look as good because of the lighting. So they said for Lydia, they had to adjust the lighting of setting her in the background so they could capture like all her, I guess, good sides. <laughs> oh, good. 
Was that it? Yeah, that was it. All right, well, I'm gonna just stop it right here. I think we saw just about everything we needed to see. Um, yeah, they look, uh, well, not they, <laughs> but she looks really good. And, um, but yeah, they did it, they did a good job at, uh, you know, showing her off. I do like these Tekken talks. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch the Tekken talk, you know, when it first live. So seeing all this was new to me. But then again, you know, your boy was busy with all that stuff, like I told you guys about. Um, but that's neat that they uh, went to details. And she comes out the 22nd. I believe that's what they said. Uh, yes, yeah, so the 22nd. So literally in like, what, two weeks or a little little less well yeah I'll say two yeah two weeks from now um almost a little less than two weeks yeah she'll be here um which is dope I'm happy for that very much looking forward to her